Hello everyone, this is Mike Sang V from vlamon.com and I am back with another PHP interview question and in this video we are going to learn about how to submit a form without a submit button. So let's start and for this I am going to open my IIS and inside this uh, this is my website PHP Tutor and this is not actually PHP Tutor my website name is vlamon.com so let me rename it vlemon and so this is my vlemon website and i'm going to click on browse http and i think it is going to be work fine and this is my local host the default web page index.php and now we are going to create a form the first form this is my page and index.php this is my default page and in this page we are going to create a form okay and when I want to submit this form and uh, I want to submit this forms without a submit button so how to achieve this scenario for this let me quickly create a action and I'm going to submit this form on let's say submit.php and let me quickly create another index or another php page this is a php page i want a submit.php click on ok and in this i am going to just read the data of my this index.php okay and i want the method is post and i suppose you know about all these keywords i am just want to answer this question how to submit a form without submit button and you can submit a form without a submit button using javascript and we are going to achieve the same thing here so this is a simple text uh, box type text okay and I'm going to name it let's say my name okay and I'm going to add a submit button right now input and type this is a submit button value submit okay on click of this we are going to redirect on here and in this we want to show a display I want to display a message uh, hello and I want to display post the my name I hope this this and this is same my name and yes it is same it's time to run our this example and I want to go Internet Explorer I want to open IQ one and this is our form and my name is my Sangvi click on submit and hello my summary great our form is working with a submit button now how to submit this form without a submit button for this I'm going to change it to button and now whenever you are going to click on submit you are not able to see hello my summary my summary submit now you are not able to submit the form now how to submit form when you don't have any submit button for this you have to use my button spelling is incorrect or what okay let me quickly no it is correct so why it is showing error message okay no issue now how to submit this form without using submit button okay you can use javascript and i want to perform javascript or i want to execute javascript on on click function because whenever my user are going to click on this submit button i want to submit this form okay for this i am going to add an on click event and on on click event i want to execute a javascript function for the timing i am going to add a alert message so this is my alert and i want to add a alert message that's it okay and it's time to go back on internet explorer and i want to refresh my web page okay and it's time to submit okay this is the javascript message okay that's it now i want to submit this form so i'm going to add a 
the column for this form so let me form and let's say name okay form name and I want to submit this form so I am going to click on document I am going to use document get element by ID and this is my element and I want to submit form name and then you have to submit okay that's it this is the code to submit your form so let me quickly refresh my web page refresh refresh it and it's time to provide a name mine sangvi and submit your form is submitted without a submit button another thing you can add this code inside a javascript function so let's say you want to validate you want to validate whether my name field contain anything or not if it is contain anything then I have to submit this form okay so for this I am going to quickly create a JavaScript function and then I am going to add this line inside my JavaScript function for this I am going to go inside the head section I want to add a script tag and then I want to inside attributes I want type I want text JavaScript okay so I'm going to select text JavaScript and inside this I want to add a function and I'm going to name the function name is validate okay and inside this function I want to validate my this form and I want to check whether my this text box contains anything or not so I'm going to quickly add ID for this and I'm going to uh, the ID for this is my name and if document dot get element by ID my name my name dot value dot L E N G T H G T H is greater than zero then I want to submit this form okay alert submit form okay so let me quickly go and right click refresh my web page refresh it once more and submit okay something is wrong here and I want to see okay sorry uh, we didn't assign this function inside on click so I'm going to quickly assign this function here okay and I want this line inside my JavaScript function okay and I want this to be here it's time to refresh our web page once more so I want to refresh it and submit and something is wrong our JavaScript code is failing and the most probably this is failing here and I think I uh, the spelling for length is or something is wrong so let me quickly store this inside a variable so I want to store this document dot get element I want to store this inside this and let me quickly check whether I am getting my name inside my variable or not and for the time being place this here refresh your web page and submit and right now it is blank and last thing I want to check is the length I want to check its LENGTH I want to check its length refresh your web page click on submit and length is 0 ok so whenever my length is greater than 0 then I want to submit it else I want to inform that all the fields are required all the input fields are required that's it and now whenever you are going to 
provide a name inside this then your form is going to be submitted so refresh and click on submit all the input fields are required or provide a name my hand sung v and click on submit your form is submitted hello my hand sung v. the advantage of submitting a form using javascript is you want to validate all the inputs before submitting form so for this you have to remove the submit button from your form and use a plain button instead of submit and submit your form using javascript submit your form when everything is fine so here we are checking the same thing here we are checking whether the name field contains anything or not yes if it is blank then we have to warn our user that you have to provide something here and when user are going to provide a valid name then we are able to submit it okay so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe like button share it with your friend and, and see you all in next php interview question video